Are you ready to relax in a time warpy kind of way? What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich and Fun for Five. That's right. We have reached a question mark Wednesday, but Wednesday isn't? Well, you'll be seeing this on Wednesday, the 4th of May. But this is actually the one in the time slot for the 27th of April. Uh, and the reason why is because, well, quite frankly, sometimes, sometimes the production schedule is just a tad, uh, tad crazy. Let's just say that. But uh, nonetheless, you're getting a double dose of Question Mark Wednesday today in the same outfit because we're going to record them back to back. And we're going to put them out. So you're going to get one right now. It's going to be relaxing. And then who knows? Maybe you'll find another one that will be not so relaxing for the next one. And hopefully you guys enjoy, enjoy both. But today's game is called Sable by Raw Fury. And the description says, Embark on a unique and unforgettable journey and guide Sable through her gliding. A rite of patches, passage that will take her across vast deserts and mesmerizing landscapes capped by the remains of spaceships and ancient wonders. Kind of sounds like Ray, right? Anyway. Explore the dunes on your hoverbike. Scale monumental ruins and encounter other nomads as you unearth mysteries long forgotten and discover who she really is behind her mask. Hmm. It actually really is sounding a lot like Ray. Um, with this, with its unique art style and original soundtrack by Japanese Breakfast, envelop yourself in Sable's world and explore everything at your own pace. There is a lot in this world waiting, just waiting to be discovered. Do not be afraid. Take the leap. Hey, well, if I'm one for anything, it's just taking leaps into random games because not only is that what Question Mark Wednesday is about, but it's also what Fun for Five is about right? Grabbing a game off the shelf or off the digital shelf, as it were, popping it in, playing for five minutes and see what's up. You know, do I want to play some more? Do I want to do whatever? All this discovery is leading some somewhere, I promise you guys. We've done many hundreds of episodes as we just uh, did the 200 episode celebration last week. So thank you so much, guys, for checking us out for all those many episodes. Um, I, I promise you, there is a point, there is a method to all this madness, and that method is, as we go and blow through all of these things, getting these first impression fun for five things going, going on, we're going to go right back to some of those games that we visited and revisit them in a much longer form way, um, kind of review style, but we're going to do it in a unique, in unique uh, ways first. Maybe there'll be some plays, you know, long plays that might not happen to reside here on this YouTube channel. We go some, maybe go somewhere else with that. Just a random, you know, chill and chat and and whatever. Maybe they will be on here. Maybe just unlist them or whatever. But then we're gonna take some snippets out of those, and we're gonna create other videos that will be like maybe longer form reviews and you know more spotlights on some of these titles that just kind of grabbed everybody's attention, right? Not just me, but the audience's attention as well. So hey, man, this game was awesome. We should play some more. Well, when we get to it, we'll get to it, right? And we'll play some more and, and we'll. And check out these games together, which would be cool. So I'm going to go ahead and find the play button here on Sable. And we're going to play this game, see what's going on for maybe about five minutes. And then we'll come back. And of course, will the fun be found? We'll find out. Let's go. Let's do it. Hit this button. And of course, as with all or most of our games in the Fun for Five question mark Wednesday category, we go straight to Xbox Live via their cloud gaming service and check out these games on Game Pass. This is a Game Pass game. It does not seem to be going anywhere, so it's not a limited time game. Some of the, some of the games we feature are uh, on the way out. Um, this week's games that are on the way out, uh, and this is actually May, not last week. Um, Enter the Gungeon is going to be on its way out, but that's like a known title, a known quantity title, so it's not something I really want to feature here on Question Mark Wednesday, and there was another one 
um, that's on its way out. That I might feature in the next video here. I'm not sure though. Um, so anyway. Oh. Got some cool music there. A little, little, uh, you know, light-hearted. All right, so let's let's hit the any button to start. Sinking data. New game. Let's go. I would like to start a new game. That actually kind of reminds me of Destiny. The little thing that shows up and then goes away. Remember? Remember that game? Oh, I missed that game. Yeah, I know you can play Destiny 2, but I'm talking about Destiny 1. Man, that was something else. All right. Shed works. That's really hard to see. All right. Okay. It's like playing a... Uh, I mean, it's definitely like a shell, cell shaded kind of thing, but it's definitely like kind of playing a uh, animated uh, feature, right? No control is as of yet. There we go. Here is what I'm assuming is the main cat character, Sable, looking at a very uh, interesting looking mask wall. Oh. Perhaps he is in deep thought and or praying? A family member, perhaps. Or a deity. Who knows? Alright. Okay. Yep. Okay. We've got this. Of course, we're gonna. Are you gonna tell me how to use the camera? Or all right, X is jump. All right, let's go. Go through here. Press A to jump. All right. Climbing. Keep an eye on stamina. Okay. So there's that little box there that says, hey, in order to keep climbing, oh, wall climbing costs some stamina. L to crouch. Press, press L. Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that. Wow. That is cool. That's really neat. That's a, that's that's one of those impressive things. All right, can you jump down there? Is that gonna hurt? That's probably gonna hurt. You know, it looks like you can just walk off of this thing. Yeah, we'll give it a whirl. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah, we could do that. She's uh, like a rough and tumble. We didn't open the door, so I hope <laughs> I hope you can get back in somewhere. We just see you know, We just uh, <gasps> whoa! All right. So this is one of those. This must be like a like kind of like journey, right? Somewhat no penalty, you know, just kind of just kind of do. All right, these seem to be leading us somewhere. All right. Where's this bike? They were talking about sprinting. All right. Okay. You can sprint whilst whilst you have stamina. So that doesn't seem to be a a large amount of stamina. You can run out of it pretty quickly. X. Chums, the dumb, the wind tower. All right. 
what's this? Let's go over here and check this out. I mean, I, I will say one one hundred percent. This is. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say the edginess is a fault of any part of the graphics because as I'm looking at this, I mean, it definitely seems intentional. Um, but I mean, that's that's pretty rad. Yeah, like all of this, all of the the graphics in this game look really really rad. Everything's very soft too, even the audio. Um, I've got the audio turned up quite a bit, but I can just barely hear um, the soundtrack. I think that's also intentional. Now, it did say something about wall crawling and, the, you know, wall climbing and that kind of thing. Can I just, like, jump up and, like, Spider-Man this? No. There has to be some kind of climbable surface. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. All right. All right. So you can climb on the rocky surfaces. What's this? Oh, look at this. It's a very high-tech kind of thing. That's what we got here. There's nothing of use found on the ship, but I did notice a blinking light on the dashboard. Okay. Yeah, push the button. A voice crackles from the machine in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing around with those buttons, you absolute idiot. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Robin. Concentrate. Uh, all right, we're almost there. Okay. Let's see if the old machine is told to hold us up. If not, okay. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps. I press this orange thing. Pull that lever hard. Oh, nice. Oh. Well, it looks like they got the thing to fly and everyone was happy. And then they wound up finding out that they broke something. And that was an unfortunate, fortunate end. It's interesting how like these things are still powered. All right. What is it? Wait, what's happening? Whoa, who's this? Okay. Give me some beetles. All right, beetle detour, huh? So now we have ask around camp how to find how to catch beetles. All right. Oh, what's this? Can I ride it? This looks like a bike. Oh, is this the? Well, I can't interact with it, but I think this is the bike that you're supposed to be able to, to get. Maybe you get the bike for the Beatles? All right, I guess you're going to have to go to the town to find out. So we're going to go to the town and try to find out, but we're not going to take this too long. I did just want to kind of like, again, have this be a first, first impression, just play for a little bit, see what's going on, and that kind of thing, and then... Uh, will skedaddle. It's definitely seems like one of those cool. Like, look at how look at how far this goes. The draw distance on this. You know, you could probably just keep going and going and going and going. All right, so we reached a camp. I'm imagining there's people to interact with. And could be like, hey, how do we get these beetles? What's this? Nothing yet. Maybe that's something that could be made. Okay. So we'll see if we can find somebody else to interact with. And then we'll, uh, you know, we'll call this one a day. What's this? Ooh, hey, this guy. I could ask about. Okay. Sure. 
just east. You can't just walk up and catch it, though. There's some siege. Drop a seed on the floor. All right. <laughs> oh, okay, they're building they're building the bike tutorial. to the ring and back. All right. So where is the glider? Was was that the thing that was Was that the thing that spawned on the other side? I mean, we were supposed to ride it, but I have a funny feeling that this is where it was supposed to be. But maybe it, maybe it spawned over here. Let's go see if that was the bike that it was supposed to, that it was supposed to ride. That was weird. This is strange. So we're gonna go over here. Is the day turning into night or something? Yeah, look, look at that. Look at that in the background. It's definitely turning into night. I'm not exactly sure whether or not, you know, like does night mean that I can't run around anymore? Or let's see, let's see if this is the bike. It would be weird, but let's see. I started the quest, so. See? Yeah, now it has the indicator. Race the sand cutter. All right. Accelerate right trigger. All right. So this is cool. It's kind of like a little uh little land speeder action kind of thing or speeder bike. And I have to go through this hoop. And not crash. All right. And then you go back to this guy here. No, nope, don't crash. And then you ride all the way back to here. So that was very strange that the game spawned the item that you needed for a quest somewhere else, but did not take it to where like you actually needed it. Which, like, this is I think where the camera was pointing. And then get off here. All right. <clears throat> so there we go. Can I have my bike now? Yeah, well, I, okay, that's fine. Yes, there we go. Oh, no. We mean fires. <laughs> wow all right so you were supposed to get a bike but then you just kind of like you kind of got owned a little bit by this guy <laughs> he's like oh well i was gonna give you one but no all right well that's fun it was cool. That was a, that was a, a good first impression there. So let's go ahead 
and um, you know get into this and talk a little bit more about Sable in the wrap up. Let's do it. All right, so there you have it, folks. That was Sable. Um, no other title, just that's it. Um, courtesy of Xbox Game Pass. Played on my Atari VCS, which is also very cool. So was the fun found in this little kind of exploratory, um, very much looking like it's uh, like one of those no-death kind of not necessarily walking simulator, but just kind of like a <clears throat> explorer, ex explorer simulator. Yes. Yes. The fun was indeed, indeed found. It's kind of cool to just chill and just poke around and find things. Um, I like the fact that the story was, was, uh, you know, it seems to be there, you know, like there for the taking uh, a lot less like journey in that respect where the story is found by the emotion of what is going on. You have to stumble your way into it. There's no real dialogue to speak of in Journey. You just kind of just kind of go with the flow. Um, <clears throat> it's very cool. You know, I like the art style. It was very, very vibrant, especially when, you know, like when during the daytime, you first walk out there and you see all that, you know, that red sand um, and all those different like cliff sides. And like, that's, that's very cool looking, very cool looking. So I would say um, this would be, if you're into that kind of thing, and I think only if you're into that kind of thing, I would say this is definitely, you know, 100% fun was found. Go ahead and check that out. I mean, if you got Game Pass, I mean, come on. It takes you, what is it, 15 minutes we played? And you give it 15 minutes, you like it, you don't, you know, that's on. That's that's for you to decide, right? Uh, again, part of why we do this here on Good Times with Retro Rich, we just check out stuff just to check it out. So, um, but for me, will I jump back into this? Probably uh, for sure. For sure, I would jump back into this because I just want to see more. Like, you know, like, is there more cool, quirky dialogue? Does it turn into something else? Is there more game here than just kind of exploration and doing, you know, fun side missions? Who knows? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see um, when we get to that. But that might not be for a little bit, especially on Question Mark Wednesday, because Question Mark Wednesday is purely, I think, in the form of discovery. And it might not always be Game Pass. Just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. Um, but for next week, you know, i.e. later today, um, it most certainly will be. We're going to pick up another one um, <clears throat> and try that just a little bit. So what do you think about this one? Let me know down below in the comments if you liked it, didn't like it, whatever. Um, and, you know, we'll hash it out. I always love talking to you guys on the comment section. Please do engage with me because that is, you know, the, the heartbeat of the channel is you guys, right? You know, I can be putting out these videos all over the place. If you guys aren't talking back, then, you know, hey, then there's just videos out in the ether, which is, I guess, fun in its own way. But anyway, like, like I said, leave it down below. Give me thumbs or not thumbs or whatever you guys want to do. It's all good. And until next time, my friends, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. And in this case, just like a couple more hours and then I'll be back with another one of these. How cool is that? All right, guys, take it easy. rtfc.takeitice.com